Here's the... Um, no, wait. Here live for the 8th race of the season at Trial River Year for the Coors Light 200. I had to restart this race twice now because of first cars kept sliding all over the damn place. Second, I messed up the restart. Gentlemen, start your engines! Settle in, relax, take a deep breath. It's a long, hard race. You gotta pay it yourself. Alright, there's the command. Field rolling off. Tyler Rock gets the pole, followed by Mason Wood, who hasn't been commenting. So when we go to those really short track that cannot be, they cannot have 32 cars, he will be disabled. This car will be taken out the roster. B.J. Curtis, followed by Jerry Guerra, Drew E, and Jeff James, top six starters. There we go. Oh, oh! Looks like there's already Henry Nova's already turned around, but that will not delay the start. And some wood. Wow! Just shot off all the way through. He had a good start, but there was no way for him to get past him. They're gonna get really bunched up right here. This is the danger part. Very dangerous. Oh man! They're still green. Still green. Still green. DJ Curtis. Hard into the tire barrier. Oh wait, look, there goes the caution. Oh, th there's the reason. See, this corner is really tight. These cars don't know when to back back down or when to speed up. It's a really hard track to maneuver, to drive around, whatever the hell. Caution's out already on the first lap. Tyler Rock will lead us under the caution once he crosses the stripe. Wait for it. There he goes. Now I'll take a look at the replay of what happened. So while everyone's bunching up, Ash Curtis got turned. We're running from the traffic, that's what caused the caution, but not too much traffic is in the way so he ends up getting turned 99 just going around just a little bit there's Henry Nova who for some reason got turned or oh, still under the pace laps now I get to take it back to the restart wait hold on Jerry Garrett just blew up oh man I had a feeling he would cause the last race the second race that had to restart, he blew up and then he blows up again. Heartbreaker for Jerry Guerra. Now I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go again. Face cars heading down pit road. And look, we got a new problem that I've never seen before. Jerry Guerra has an oil line. Uh, completely broke the oil line. I've never seen something like that before. Well, that's really new. Alright, getting ready to go back to green. Here we go. And the green flag's back out in the air. And Jeff Rock looking to pass Tyler Rock. Can't make it. Can't make the move right there. Colin Martell got turned back there. Oh, no, no. He's okay, he's safe, he's safe. No, we're not. There we go, another wreck, another wreck. And whoa, Jeff rocked into the tire barriers. And Drew E nearly ran over him. John McNamara, Joseph Curtis, the 99. More drivers spinning through. Pack racing right here. They usually wreck over here too. Can they hang on? No, they can't. Oh, hard! Whoa! Airborne! The 27 stuck up in the air. Oh, man. Huge crash. Tyler Rock still leading, followed by Ben Siebert. Caution's out once again. We'll take a look at the replay. Jeff Rock trying to drive hard, but he can't 
do that in that corner, he's going to lose control and plow into the tire barrier. More drivers did that pull out caution. No, nope, it was this wreck what caused the caution, but not really interesting. So, Noodles Noodley, who went up right into the fence. See, I knew it. I knew something bad was going to happen because you don't want to do that. You got turned by Ty Dillon. Whoa. That was big. Just hangs up on its nose into the fence. Now I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. 24 cars remaining on track, I believe. Tyler Rock still leading, followed by Ben Siebert. I think that's... I don't know who that is. I think... I don't know. Here we go. Waiting for the green, waiting for the green... Green flag! And see, we got to a good start. Just don't make the same mistake. Just follow the leader. Don't make nothing. Man, they rarely make passes. Maybe because it's really small. Oh no, Ben Siebert. I don't know why this is keep happening and the caution is out. Everyone's slipping and sliding once again. Oh man, last well, 15 cars. Once again, the 50 car is the leader. These two drivers trying to race it back. Let's see who's gonna win this one. Who's gonna get second? This Kyle trying to drive it hard into the corner. 98's gonna clear him. So yeah. Once again, the 50 car is leading under the caution. It's not over yet, but it has been a boring race though. Take a look at the replay. So this is the real reason why the caution is out. Looks like those two drivers make contact and then they just drip, hooked each other right into May Shelley. She goes around, caution comes out, take you back to the restart. Before we take a look Take you back to the restart. Look at this. I don't know what happened to Joseph Curtis, but man, just went head on to the pit road wall. Now I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. If the caution comes out, which I highly think it will, the race is over. Whoever leads under the caution has the big chance to win this race. Tyler Rock has dominated the whole race, has led every lap we've raced, but. The most important lap is the final lap. Alright, green flag. 98 looks up high. I mean, looks to the right. Puts the bumper on him. Oh man, usually second place usually messes up. Don't mess up. Is it these two jars down to the line? They're gonna wreck from here. There they go. Still green. There goes the caution. It's over. John McNamara's smoking up. More drivers piling in. Oh man, I told you the 98. Whoever's in second completely lose control. I need to find a new Trouble Riviere because usually the default ones are better. And while well, it's lagging like hell, this let 50 car. Still lagging. I don't like this track no more. Alright, under caution. That's it. 50 either wins it. Here's the replay. Sorry for a boring race, but this is how this track likes to perform. Someone just turned John McMahon into the tire barriers. There he goes. Blows up. Now we'll take you to the finish. Here it is. The finish. Start it first, finish it first. Boring race. Damn it. Sorry, I hate boring races. Now I'll take the race results. 
Beardsy Fetch results Tyler Rock wins, Chris Kyle second, third, Jeff James fourth, the three car, fifth, Colin Martell. And here's the rest of the field. I don't know why the phone is ringing and and stuff. And Mark Gillette, who won the last race, Rex, and finishes last today. Our next race will be at Toronto Lakeshore Speedway. We'll see you there. Here's the point standings after eight races. Jewel E has moved seven spots up. He's now 14 points back from the points lead. Ben Sievert in third. Up goes up three spots. Jerry Garrett down two. Nick down two. Chris Kyle up seven. Jeff Rock and Wesley Rock down four. Christopher Kale up one. Joseph Curtis down two. Now here's the rest of the point standings.